starting with your feet together, your heels touching together, and your knees should be straight. And your sword's at your hip, as if it's sheathed, and make a cut across. This is a reverso, and because this is horizontal, it's a tondo. Don't stop here. Cut across over here. When you get to the maximum reach that is comfortable, turn your hand over and bring this over your head and cut a reverso squalambrato, or as he says, a reverso squalimbro, stepping your front foot forward diagonally into Colunga Stretta, a Stretta guard. One, two, two cuts, one step on the second cut. First cut, no step from the left. Second cut with a step from the left. One, two. When you get over here, turn that hand, raise it over your head, and throw this reverso on the squalambrato line, falling into Corlunga Strata. From here, you'll make a falso, a false edge cut. All right? The first false edge cut we see here. Your hand here shouldn't be up here. Your hand is down here by your knee. Throw this upward as if you're striking with the debole of your false edge. Turn your shoulders a bit, and this becomes a mandrito, squalambrato. Raise your hand this way and cut, falling down into chinghiale portifer strata actions. You can group them together. First, I make two cuts from my left side, stepping my right foot. Then I make Two cuts from my right side, stepping my left foot, each time stepping only on the second cut. One, two. You see the pattern emerging. Once you've gotten into Shinhiali Portfair Strata, make a Traumazzoni. You can see the difference here between a Traumazzoni and a Mandrito. Turn your hand over, drop your point. It goes outside your front leg and comes over on the fendente line and stops in Porte de Ferre Strata. Here, this, here, that, that. Again, starting from the beginning, we're going here, 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 Kamatsone, from here, a falso. Again, this idea that you're wanting to cut with the debole of your false edge. You don't simply lift your point up. You want to cut, and you see the hip motion I put into that. Strike that, and this will go up, and then turn around for a reverso, falling into Kodalunga Alta. False edge up from the left, down from the left. False edge cut, throw. You see how I threw the reverso. After my falso, watch the throwing of the reverso. Falso manco, reverso squalembro, into Colunga Alta. After you've landed in Colunga Alta, you'll make a Reverso ridopio, a rising reverso. This is a powerful cut. Bring this around. Bring this around and strike up on the rising reverso line. Bring it here. Powerfully throw it up. You see, I pass my rear foot forward. It points forward. And in that moment, so does my other foot. That's because of the way my shoulders, my, my upper body is used there. From here, throw that here. Now, without stepping, push an imbrocata, sopramano. And when you do that, extend fully. Your true edge is, is up. Extend as far as you can, driving up thrust, and twist that at the very end. At your fullest extension, that should put you right into Portifer Stretta. So that is the first half where we are walking forward. Here, a forward step. Here, forward step. 
forward step, falso, reversal, forward step. From here, a forward step, thrust. Now we start moving backwards. From here, you make a falso and reverso. Again, this idea, put your hip into it, a falso and a reverso. Back into Kurunga Alta. Make a tramazzone. Turn your wrist, cut on the fendente, fendente line, pass that front foot back into Portofere Stutta. And do another one, passing your other foot back into Cinghiale Portofere Stutta. Then throw again another falso and reverso, falling into Kodalunga Stutta. Now this is actually where Dalagoki ends the exercise. You, you return to the guard from which you began with that action. And that's, uh, that's the extent of what he says. Here you are. Once you get comfortable with it, then you can start speeding it up and making it about power. But uh, that shouldn't be your first thought. At some point, make it fast. At some point, make it powerful. At some point, really concentrate on the, the angles of your cuts. In the beginning, that is not what you need. In the beginning, guards, steps. Thank <laughs> you.